welcome to today's video. It is the first day of standard time. We have put our clocks ahead and I'm so excited. I love spring. Actually, I hate spring because spring is just an extension of winter in Canada. It takes forever to warm up. But I'm excited that we're headed into warmer weather. Uh, a couple of things that I need to update you on. Uh, Sophie's lessons, her Western riding lessons start really soon. Um, in April they start. You start in April. Wow. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be probably a hard transition for her because going to a new barn, they're going to want to see like how she can ride and what she needs to work on and she'll have to like be working on stuff that that she needs to work on because she doesn't even know anything about Western. So she knows a little but not really. She's never taken Western lessons. We've never taken Western lessons. But it's exciting. Also, that is coming to check Chino this week. This coming week, at least getting her shots this week. Like, so many things, fun things. I love Vet Days. Vet Days are my favorite. I learn so much at Vet Days. Um, so once Chino gets gets checked over and make sure everything is good in good working order, um, we're gonna start really working him again. It's almost time for, for us to start really getting him back into into action like it's time for him to start getting back to work this is the first time like I told you guys that our horses had the winter off and I see a lot of people online like say having the winter off for your horse is really bad I feel like it's been really good for him I feel like it's been beneficial and I know everybody has a different opinion for sure but you have to do it what you feel best for your horses and this year it just happened that we had this the winter off and it's been fun we've been handling we've been doing fun stuff with our mares enjoying life with our horses through the cold weather and it's just been fun but right now we are headed off to riding lessons and to see our friends all right so the girls are done riding how was your ride it was very eventful it was very eventful it was new because we had a nice girl Sedona is her so, name? Yeah, you had a nice new leader. A nice new leader and she did awesome and I hope she does it soon. Again. She did you hope you loved with you loved going with her? I did. So they split it up. So they were in two groups, the more beginner group and then um, the regular group. Alright. How was your ride? Good. <laughs> That's it? That's all you got to say? What else do you expect me to say? So tell me what you did. We galloped and I hit my knee off a tree. <laughs> a tree that does not move. She's got something black on her teeth. I'm pretty sure that she she's like... eating sticks again. Oh, you were eating sticks? Yeah. Yes. Why are you eating sticks? Because... Do you know there's a thing called pica and it's when you eat inanimate objects. Things that are not food. Uh, Bugs eat them. Means your iron is low. No. I just like eating sticks and leaves. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> what was your favorite part of the trip, of the ride? Um, they were all pretty fast parts, so I wouldn't really say I have a favorite because they were all kind of the same. So you're an we energy, you're a, yeah, you like the energy, like you yeah, love the, I like the rush. adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, I know. I love the adrenaline here too. You like the adrenaline? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's it. We're going. See you guys Bye. later. Bye. So the problem with horseback riding for me is that all the parents are waiting for the kids to come back and... That was only a 30 minute ride. No, it was over an hour. It was a long ride. So it felt like 30 minutes. Felt like 30 minutes, but it was long. So anyways, whoa. whoa. My problem is, is that all we just stand around and we talk about animals and we talk about like who's got what for sale and what we could buy and and what they're getting and then we enable each other. We're like, yeah, you should get that. <laughs> and before you know it, I'm like committing to animals that we don't even even want. But that's just a joke. I have never committed to animals we don't want. That's but I want to commit to animals that we don't want because it just gets exciting talking about animals and farm. Like having a farm is so different than just having horses. When you just have horses, it's all about horses. But when you have a farm and it's like a hobby farm, then you tend to have more, more animals. And we've always kept it down to just chickens and horses because our kids have been like so busy in the summer, like for showing and stuff. But when we move, it's we're definitely going to do more of a hobby farm kind of situation. We're gonna change things up and we're gonna get another kind of animal, especially just one kind of animal for sure. And I'm excited. All right, it's Molly's birthday. No. It's Molly's birthday, you guys, and we made some presents. And she loves presents. Yeah, she likes to rip open She her loves to open her presents. Sophia, are you coming? Sophia, are you coming? And Ellie wants to open presents. Ten seconds. So the crazy thing about Ellie is... <laughs> 
that one, she loves me. And when I've been away, she's so obsessed with me when I come home. Is Coming home is has never been better. She just kisses me and loves me so much. But the other thing that was really crazy today is that we told the dogs to go to bed before we leave. We tell our dogs bed and they all run to their crates. And when we said it, when Sam said bed, Ellie ran and she ran into one of the crates. She ran into the crate and she just stood there and she just waited and she was so excited. <laughs> she was definitely so excited. <laughs> You're so cute, yes you are. All right, so it's Molly's birthday and we are gonna give her her present. <laughs> So you guys know that we decided to make our presents this cool, year yeah, for her. Molly. Molly, sit. Ruby, sit. Here and we're going to let her open it. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, she loves to open presents. Get it, Molly. Get it. Get it, Molly. No, Molly. Stay here, Molly. Open it here. <gasps> Get it, Molly. Get it. Get it. Oh, she likes that one. <laughs> That's the one I made. I She's like, yay! <laughs> Look at how much joy it brings to her. Like, that is amazing. Molly, 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 get, so. it. get it, get it, Molly, get it. <laughs> she likes the pink and white ones best. So Gabby made this one I showed you guys the other day. All Ellie. the puppies are excited. Look. Sophie made one for Ellie, Ellie a tiny strange. little she one. Oh, she loves the thicker ones. So I'm gonna make more of these. I'm gonna make the thicker ones because that's what Molly seems to like. She loves it. Um, and then I made this really long one, which <laughs> Ellie loves the small one. Ellie loves hers. Aw, look, everybody's got some. It feels so good to have made these for them. Aw, she loves that one. That makes me happy. <laughs> so our new rope toys that we made, our safe rope toys, are gonna be put through the ringer. Here, Ellie. <laughs> but yeah, one more. This one didn't really turn out. Ellie's like, I will have them all. So now we have, <laughs> now that everyone's going crazy over our toy, the only thing, oh my gosh, even Molly, even Ruby had one in her mouth. Ruby, get it, get it, Ruby. Okay, Gabby, Ruby, do you want to give them their treats? Oh, she Ruby likes it. Hers. Even oh, Ruby sweet. likes it. Oh. Molly, uh, Ruby is the sweetest dog with the puppy. Daisy flings her around. Daisy is kind of rough with her. Okay, let's show them. It says happy birthday on there. And that's what we got for Molly for her birthday. And she gets the whole thing. She's going to eat it. And she's going to eat it. <laughs> she picks it up and flips it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to take Molly's. Yeah. Okay, sit down. Daisy, sit. Sit and you'll get one too. Sit. I'll tell her to sit with your hand. Good girl. And then the little dog's got these little no, tiny treats. Blue. Oh, well. Well, you never said they were colored. Call Ellie. <laughs> She's Ellie. still got her toy. <laughs> That's a big treat for a baby. <laughs> Those are all for Molly's birthday. I don't think the baby can have that big of a treat. That's too much treat for her. Ruby will eat it. So we have a ton more material left and I'm gonna make some more rope toys. I'm gonna to try and it put a squeaker in some of the toys, the rope toys, so that it's more fun for Molly because she really likes the squeaker. Um, and then I'm gonna try and make some bandanas out of that. Ellie, what'd you get? Look how she lays with her feet in front like that. She's almost done that entire thing. She's already almost done that whole entire thing. We want her to like have a good birthday. Oh, look. Oh, uh, did you finish? She's not even able to eat that. I don't think she should have it. She got to lick it a little. That's good. <laughs> Take it away, Ruby. It's as big as the Timbit. Oh, she's fat. She is fat. Wait, where'd it go? It's in her mouth. She still has it. It's in her mouth. She's like, you're not taking my treat. Wait, cut it into Cut pieces. it into a little. Here, give it to here. me, and we'll give her a little tiny peek. No. She's looking everywhere for it. She's like, what happened? <laughs> Molly, did she already eat hers? Yeah, Molly oh, yeah. already ate hers. Wait, Molly, you can have a piece. You can have the rest of it. There, you have that piece. Okay, so I've been seeing people try sea grapes on TikTok. So this is called sea grapes. What is it? It's 
basically seaweed. Seaweed, which I love seaweed. Seaweed is so, so high in iron. Apparently they're good, so I want to try them. I asked my dad for them, and I didn't realize he actually ordered them. So we're gonna open So the first thing you have to do when you get sea grapes is you have to soak them in water because, do you know why? You have to cook them. That's what's cooking it. Well, do you know what, what it does to them? They smell fishy. They smell like fish. I don't like fish. I know, so the soaking them takes off the fish smell. Looks like. All right, so there's a bunch of packages. Oh, does it come with sauce? So it comes with Kewpie sauce. Looks like it's pepper sauce. See, that's what they look like right now. So that's what it looks like. Like pure seaweed. Oh, it's gonna be light. Apparently it's gonna look like that after. Dump it in. Dump it in. Oh, you gotta take it out of the juice. Leave it for three minutes and then it's supposed to grow. Set the timer for three minutes. They're already growing so fast. Look at that. Three minutes it's supposed to take, but look at how much it's expanded. Okay, so this is the, <laughs> <laughs> this is the sauce. All right, it's time. Hold on, let me get the other so sauce. So Sophie's ready. making some mustard sauce as well. So this is the sauce that comes with it. It's let like a pepper it. sauce. And this is the mustard sauce. This is what it's supposed to look like. I'll show you guys. It looks really cool. Basically, it just looks like a flower, a plant, but it actually- Don't touch. Oh, I was gonna go for that one. So it actually does kind of look like grapes. I don't know if you guys can yeah, tell. Yeah, sea grapes. Oh, I have a hair in mine. All right, so. Wait, why do you have mustard? Sophie, went for, Sophie went for mustard. Oh, They're supposed to make a super crunchy sound it's in your mouth, and it does. It sounds like pickles. Mm -hmm. All I taste is it was mustard. <laughs> It is the craziest flavor. It tastes like grapes. They pop in your mouth. They pop open. I love them. Let's let dad try them. Try it with the mustard. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it tastes like, like B.O. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes worse after you mention that. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it plain. Um, plain, it tastes good. I'm gonna try it with, with mustard, yeah. Okay, at the end, you taste mustard. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It doesn't taste bad, it doesn't taste like anything. But the sauce that it comes with uh, is what? really it weird. Salty. I would risk this though, like I would eat this just for the health benefits. This short. Yeah, you got long hair. Remember when we bought him, his hair was okay, so long? Go, it's just gonna cut your hair. Anyways, we are all in, even Gracie's in. It's a dark, yucky, muddy day in spring. You guys know like, I always talk about how like I hate winter, but the truth is spring is the worst, especially the beginning of spring. It's a mud zone. I'm dying to bring my puppy down, but there's no way. We brought her yesterday for a walk. We took her yesterday for a walk. Pure mud. She didn't even enjoy it. There was a time. Here, look in here. There was Not a. That one. No. Oh. Mm. Well, there was a time when our bigger dogs were puppies, and the girls were having to bathe them all the time. Remember that when they were about puppies? Molly, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> on the vet day. Yeah, especially vet days. What? With her. Is she giving you shocks? Anyway, we're we brought all the horses in so that we can groom them. It's a perfect day for grooming. If you guys can tell, hair is falling off like crazy. Somehow we can't find any shedding blades. That means we need to go back to the tax store and get us some shedding blades. <laughs> She's itchy. She's like, let me scratch. All right, it is shedding season. We groom our horses about three times a week. We brush them about three times a week, even through the winter. And still, when it is grooming season, it all just comes off like crazy. It's it hard to get it all off. All right, I'm gonna use that after you're done. Because does it make the hair not fly? No, it still flies. He looks good. He is like, we are at the end of winter now and he's looking not bad. Our girls are a little bit chubbier than I wanted. They're total easy keepers. And it's hard when you have them like, it's hard when you have horses of different sizes in the same paddock. Wow, this is insane. I already brushed her entire body. 
we always give the dog the choice who wants to come down to the barn. The only one who came tonight was Molly. I thought Ruby came. Oh, did Ruby come? She runs off by herself. And the angel child. Which one's the problematic child? Sophie. <laughs> Shut up, Karen. Which one's the angel child? So problematic angel. All right, here we go. Horsey number one. Willow hasn't started shedding. Yeah, Willow hasn't started shedding yet because miniature horses shed last. Probably because they're small. She hasn't moved since I tied her up. I know, she's a really good girl. And Meanwhile, Honey has hit all the doors because she wants to. She wants to get out, yeah. Honey's not used to being tied for a long time. So one day, when it's summer and warm out, we're gonna come down here, tie Honey, and just sit there. Yeah, she needs to be tied for a while. This one is easy to shed. Why is she so easy to shed? Because all you have to do is do this in the same spot and it all comes out. See, that was that long. And now it's not. Let's see. It was that long and now it's not. Oh yeah, I see. Gabby, hurry up. Who's done with that? I hate the beard. I know, it's everywhere. The hair is everywhere. I need another rope holder. All right, let's order them on Amazon. Okay. It's just gotta figure out what size they need. And then we'll get, what color? You know what, I'm, you know Ooh. what? Can I get two? One for each. Okay, so you're gonna have pink, and she's gonna have purple. Purple. Oh yeah, I thought this looked too tight, but it's loose. It's just her fluff. So our vet is coming and he's going to look over Honey, he, although he already says that she's doing so much better. I saw on Instagram people are saying Honey's lame. She has not been lame. She wasn't lame when we got her. She's not lame now. She's a little bit post-legged and that's just a confirmation thing. And then lots of horses are like that. And she's like weird. Her trot's weird. Why? She's not lame, just she moves weirdly. Why do you say that? I don't know. She's just always moved. Like because she's stiff? Maybe. So he's just gonna check her over again, make sure that she's still progressing really well. We've not had any single issues with sticky stifles, except for like one time when we first got her. And we were she's did a lot of exercises, a lot of work, and she's either probably grown out of it, most likely grown out of it, even though Sophie's Ow. been working to make Ow. sure she doesn't have an issue. Her she doesn't. Back on, right? Yep, blanket's back on. So she doesn't have an issue with that at all anymore. Our vet felt that it was probably a growing thing because she was growing so quickly. And then Chino's getting checked. So that is the pile, you guys. We come down and brush at night, and it's still light out. Sam is making us dinner, he's making us pasta. Good Italian boy that he is. And uh, that is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Spring break. Don't you know that you're beautiful?